come to the basic question. What is the purpose of our life? What is the purpose of our existence in this world? Who do you think would be the best person to reply to this question, what is the purpose of our life? Do you think it's Dr. Zakir Naik? Surely the answer is no. Do you think the scientists can answer this question? The answer is no. Do you think the philosopher can answer this question? The answer is no. The best answer to this question, what is the purpose of our life, can be given by our Creator, God Almighty, Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. And I started my talk by quoting a verse from the Glorious Quran, from Surah Zariyat, chapter number 51. Verse number 56, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنسَىٰ إِلَّا لِيَعْبْدُونَ I have not created the jinns and the men, but to worship me. I have created the jinn and the men only to worship me. The Arabic word used here is ibadah, coming from the root word abd which means servant, which means slave. Ibadah means servitude, means worship. It means obedient submission. In short, Ibadah means worship or obeying the commandments of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, of our Creator Almighty God. Whatever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Almighty God commands us, if we obey, it is called as ibadah, it is called as worship. For example, Allah SWT says that you have to follow the five pillars. So if you believe in Tawheed, believe there is no God but Allah, then you are doing ibadah, then you are worshipping Allah. If you pray, if you offer salah, you are doing ibadah, you are worshipping Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. If you give zakat, obligate to charity, you are doing ibadah, you are worshipping Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. If you fast, you are doing ibadah, you are worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah says in the Quran that you have to provide neighborly needs. So if you take care of your neighbor, as Quran says in Surah Ma'un, chapter number 107, verse number 7, then you are doing ibadah, you are worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you abstain from the things Almighty God Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has told you to abstain from, then you're doing ibadah. If you abstain from having alcohol, you're doing ibadah. If you abstain from having pork, you're doing ibadah. You're worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you abstain from stealing, cheating, telling lies, you're doing ibadah. You're worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In short, when you follow the commandments of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if you submit your will to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you are doing ibadah, you are worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And every act of a human being can be converted into worship if you follow two criteria. Number one is, the act should be done only and only for the pleasure of our Creator, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Point number two, the act should be done according to the sunnah, the way the last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, has done. If you have these two things in your act, every act of yours can be converted into ibadah, can be converted into worship.